Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So as you as you remember I'm back on the moon, returned with the returning scroll from a uh, Mars and I built a segment and an alloy mixer. So let's have a quick look at those first of all. What I'd like to do is also to extend the cables a bit. So let's do that as well. I'm going to put down the um, in fact, before I start, I've got the 64 return scrolls ready in order to make this waystone, the warp stone, I mean. So let's do that first. That's the warp stone recipe. And then I can click it into there. I was just, I tried to do it, well, I started to do it, and I thought I'd wait. Let's it, let it do that together. So, what I've basically has got enough, I haven't got enough space behind it, so let's just make a bit of space. Obviously, this is a, putting that um, this floodlight in front of that wasn't a, even a brilliant idea either. So let's just take some of this cable down here. I'd like to keep one for that and another one here. And then on this one, we can put the, the mixer. And above it, we could actually put the sag mill. I think that's probably a good place for the sag mill. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm thinking about it. Well, for the time being, let's put the segment on top here. In fact, I could put the, the octet capacitor in the segment, couldn't I? So, segment is great because what we need from the segment is um, let's go and go downstairs and get some cobblestone first of all. We need lots and lots of uh, cobblestone we can make now, actually, a lot faster. That's about five stacks of cobblestone. So now we can put this through the, not through the segment, we'll put this first of all through the pulverizer to make some um, gravel. I'll stick some more in there. Let's go through very nicely and quick. In fact, we can actually use the other one to do another stack, can't we? We should produce more sand. Now, in here, when we put the gravel in here, we're going to get quite a lot of flint. So I think you get one or two per item. So we put that in there. That was fast. Took that away pretty fast. I don't know why it took it away quite so fast. Try again. Ah oh, yes, it's using it up like that. And that'll give us more a chance of more flints. And of course flints are a good way of getting more um secondary product, which is actually what we're aiming for. So here, let's already finish those three. What we can then do is we can put through the sag mill the sand. So we'll let that come back a little bit longer. But let's go and get that octetic capacitor from the... Maybe that's what it was for. From here, because that's finished doing its stuff now. That added a bit more power. In fact, I probably can make octetic capacitors now, which is which is going to be great. So let's put that into the segment here. And that'll make it go a bit faster, as you can see. getting plenty of flints we can keep pushing those in there and then we can do the sand now that's what we're going to do after this so let those finish through and that's what we got in here is that finished not yet well, actually that's probably ending up in here which is also good well we might as well get another set of this going through won't take very long. In fact, now we've done all of that, because that will produce a silicon. We should go and get our way warp stone. Now with the warp stone, we can right click it. Was that was that too fast? Okay, and you can then choose your destination. So well I've only got moon base at the moment. So we press escape and it'll cancel its use because it takes five minutes to regen itself so we obviously got to go back to mars on the on the rocket that's not such a big problem i filled up the rocket by the way it's ready to go so i think we're going to go and do that next let me just get some make sure my oxygen's all full and we'll come back to doing actually the, oops did i put that back in again no We'll put the 
the basic capacitor bank in there so we have some power in fact I'll put the floodlight in here for the sake of it this refinery I might decompose that and I might also decompose the quarry so what have we got here Um, I've gone blank, sorry, I'll have to come back. Um, it was sand I was doing, wasn't it? It was basically what I wanted to do with sand. So we've now got 64 of those, so we can start putting sand through. Now sand will give a start giving us silicon, which is a very useful component. It's the only way we can get silicon as far as I can see, that went through very fast. And of course we can make more sand by putting the gravel through here, and that'll make more sand. We can put the rest of the sand through here and get more silicon. Now, obviously, the uses of the silicon are actually some interesting ones. One of the uses, for obviously, we can make those, but and different items, crafting recipes, the induction smelter we can't make, the alloy smelter we can't make, splice and dice, but well, maybe we can because that's just a recipe. But the crafting table now, this is interesting. So, with destabilized redstone or molten steel, we can make electrical steel, or redstone alloy. And if we can get liquid, that's liquid steel as well, okay, that's another recipe for electric steel. So that's how we can actually get electric steel and conductive steel. Here we can use the metal infuser to put it into liquid form. I'm not 100% sure what the use of that is. And the alloy furnace recipe, can, we can't make an alloy furnace either. That's another one of those things which has been uh, nerfed. So let's have a look. So you've got an electric alloy smelter, left click it, no recipe. An iron alloy, no recipe. An industrial blast furnace, maybe that's different. The assembly machine, we're going to have to make one of these. Redstone furnace, we've already made. Cyclic assembler. Resonant. Oh, we can actually make a cyclic assembler. That's not so useful. Induction furnace. Yes, that's fine. That's all blast furnaces, all to do with heating. Electric furnaces we can make, no problem. Arc furnaces. What can't we make? Induction crucible furnace, yes. Alloy furnace, in no recipe for that either. And the same is true for the induction smelter as well. You can't make that. So, now... What I'm a little bit worried about is going back to Mars, but we'll do that next anyway. So, so let's go back to Mars. We've got plenty of oxygen, and I don't know where we're going to land. That's there for the f fuel is fine. I don't really need all this gravel with me, but we're going to take it anyway. So, here we go again. It takes a few seconds. And I'm hoping I've remembered everything this time. <laughs> I love the little wobbly bits as it, as it goes up through this into space. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And using end of and using the ender chest is a really great idea because it it basically means if you lose anything if you haven't lost anything if you see what I mean. So let's go back to Mars. Launch. What time of day? It's evening again. That's fantastic. Great. That means we don't have to do anything special. Hopefully. Our base is not too far away. Do you know, I didn't put a marker in the base, did I? Okay. Can I get out of this thing? I'll have to wait for it to stop bouncing. Yep, I can. So let's right click this and take the rocket and the launch pad back again. And let's break the, la the balloon. Can I break the balloon pickaxe? That got fuel in it. It has got fuel in it. I can't 
for that without maybe ah got it just hit it a few times so what I've got to do of course is to find my little ha little mountain which is over here good I should have put a marker down shouldn't I so what we'll do first of all as I think this is a pretty good area to start mining so let's go and go back to our base here I'm, I might take a risk but if I do, I'll take it. I'll say I'll back up first before I do that. That'd be better with me. Or I'll pick it in my hand, wouldn't I? Right, good. So I should have everything that we need in here. So obviously, I don't need this but I'll put this ender chest down now now why do we want this ender chest let's put it down where it's gone to here and you can see we've got stuff in there where did this come from did it mine that in the end oh okay I seem to have mined some some stuff let's put this into there we don't need those in fact they'll stay in there anyway in fact Let's not do that. Let's put those into here with the other cobblestone. Okay, good. So what we'll do now is put into this the rocket and the launch pad. That's safe. And then we've got some empty mine chem tubes for some reason or other. We'll take that with us. Flint we don't need with us either, but we do want the markers and the quarry and a maybe some cables as well. So let's go and set these down. And what time of day is it? It's night time. Great. Because the mobs here spawn very fast, I noticed. So let's just do one straight in front of the base here. That'll do. Let's put beside it. And I did I said to get the torches. Great. Oops, wrong. Try again. So that goes right over there. So let's also put beside this a normal marker. So the idea here is so I can count a bit. Oops, wrong again. Let's do it here actually. Oh, I have to put down the redstone torch. Actually, I've got enough. I can do that. Okay. Well, it's night time now, so I'm going to go back inside. We could do a bit of mining and during the night time, I think. Yes, probably the safest thing to do. But I could actually even light this up, couldn't I? Let's do that. Let's go inside here and block off the doorway. Where's the mint? Right, so what we can do down here, of course, is we can go and do a bit of mining while this is all happening. What have I got in my stuff? I really do need to put some of this stuff away. That was not being intelligent. Let's put that up there. I'm a bit... Because this is very strange. It's mined to this. But doesn't matter, we can put those into here anyway. Because I know I haven't been anywhere down there. So let's go and see what we can find down here. More than likely what we're going to go and find down here is um, some caves. Because in Mars you get caves. What level are we at? 25. Okay. And of course I haven't got my... F4 on, let's put F4 on so we can see. Yeah, our pickaxe is great for mining down. But I can hear a lot, I can see a lot of mobs on the map which look like they're below me. And I can hear some spiders. 
Ah, oh, reach bedrock. And of course we found a cave. So let's just make sure that cave is safe. Once again, all the way down here to find that looks reasonably safe. What can we see in here? Anything? Oh, yep, yeah, a zombie. Let's just stand out of his way. He can't come in, that's good. So what's the most effective weapon we've got? If I remember right, is this steel mattock, which I can, of course, now improve, of course. And here comes another one. Good for my XP. Oops, hit me. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't done my... Okay, we'll put a torch down here anyway, so we can... Light up this area for another time. Okay, so now we know what we've got down the bottom there. There's some spiders around here. Probably the caves I've just probably somehow managed to miss. Well, it's the middle of the night. But I think what I'll do is I might just uh, have a little pause now until... until daytime. I don't fancy him fighting mobs at the moment, to be dead honest with you. Let's move this one back here. So now, of course, with, all, with this, we've got a fact what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the other one on the quarry, of course, but for the time being, I can take this with me and that should also get taken in. So we're importing all of those items that we've got in here anyway. And tin ore, well, a tin ore we can put in here, can't we? Because we've got, that'll come into the quarry eventually. So I'm going to take one of those returns. Nope. Yeah, I'll take one with me. Because what I think I'll do is I'm going to do a quick break now and I'm going to activate this waystone but I've got a horrible I've got a, a risk so what I'll do is I'll do that now and I'll come back as soon as I've done that just a quick save right I'm back again so if I now shift right click this waystone I think if I use an empty hand think it's out of the way mouse base done or do I have to activate this Nope. Do I have to activate this with a return scroll? That's what I'm a because it changed then it changed all of these return scrolls. Ah, there we are. I've activated it with that. Now if I go with this now, I'm hoping we can choose which base we want to go to. Fantastic. So that means I can but now of course the return scrolls are all pointing to to Mars base. So you can't get back to to um to the moon this way so we can use the the weight the warp controller which is fun to do and it it does take five minutes to do that as well what have we got in there i might as well take these out of here mind i I'll put those into here no shortage of mobs around look at that we should build my little mob mob grinder down here. So what I'm going to do now, what time is it? So it's still middle of the night. And I think I'll do a little bit more mining while we're waiting for the morning. Maybe here's a good place. Let's do it down here. Five by five. 
doesn't take too long to do a bit of mining and probably a waste of time really but I've got to wait till morning so I don't think there's anything else we can do more dash that's good even more dash that's better and yet more well at least we can claim that quest while we're here let's do that as well so that was stars align and that's this quest here let's detect and claim it. Let's have a look at what we've got in the loot chest. Oh, we've got an illuminated wand. I don't know what that does. Right click on the a block to spawn light. Okay. Well, actually, as it happens, that would be great, but uh, spawn light. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. More dash, that's good. Oops, that's dash, isn't it? But whether I should prefer this one or the other one, I don't know. Let's just, uh, I think we'll stick with the RR pickaxe. It's easier. Oh, another cave. Let's just close this one up before we actually forget if I've got enough time to do this. What we have actually. Right. So I've got a few things floating around here. Let's just take this dash while we're at it. Oh, solar panels. How did I drop those? Let's just take this dash one at a time and fill in the hole. <laughs> time you pick it up you drops one right time is it now right it's coming up to morning great so let's go and put all this stuff away now send it back home and then we can process it later on When I was actually loading up, when I loaded up the world first thing this morning, it took a very long time. And I was actually looking at the, because um, basically when it's loading up, you, do, you see the underground parts first, don't you? And I was looking at it and I was thinking, my goodness, a lot of underground tunnels here, lots of caves. I was wondering if I could see a Mars base while I was there, but I'm not ready to do a Mars base yet, I don't think. Oops, try again. Right, that's better. Rotting flesh won't go away, but we can put it in that chest anyway. Let's just dig up this one. In fact, let's take this with us. Yes. Use the obsidian pickaxe for that. Let me just check. I've got everything I need. I've got the quarry and I've got the... Yes, I've got everything I need, I think. Great. Now let's have a look outside. Any mobs around? There's one just sort of above me. That's fine. It's probably a zombie. Well, it probably. I just don't know what it is. Never mind. We shall carry on. So we've done this bit so far. We can go over here, can't we? Let's turn off F4. Don't need that now. And we should see two lights, one darker and one lighter. Because the first thing we've got to do... Oh, I'm being a bit daft, aren't I? Let's get this into my hand. That's one of those slimes, isn't it? Blue slime egg. Is it right click it? Oh yes, there he is. We'll name him something or other later on. I think he comes with us. Here we go. Now, 
I just put everything down that I wanted. Never mind, that doesn't matter. Let's just mine some stuff up here. And here we'll do. So we want to put down our next market here as it happens. That's no big deal. Put that down here like this. And we shall put a red tone torch against it. And we shall put a... Um, how am I going to do this? Because last time I couldn't see the end of this. So we want to go that way, that way. And we need to go the other way. Because I want it by the entrance to the mine. So the far point is going to be the, the one to the corner over here. I'm not sure if this blue slime thing actually teleports with me. I think it might do. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to put a, my marker down as well because I haven't put a base marker. Still haven't put a base marker. Let's just press B and put base in here. We don't have to say it's on the Mars because it's obvious because you can't get to it from anywhere else. There's going to be a very large quarry. That was a funny jump. And I'm just hoping that it actually will work with... Um, I'm going to do 256 quarry, by the way. It'll work with solar panels. I haven't thought about that, to be honest with you. But we've got another. If the worst comes to the worst, we can do it the way we did it originally. And all I want to do is put this quarry down and then go back home. Right, that's the end point there. So let's just put some stone down. So we've got moon surface rock, haven't we? Is that the end point? It looks like it. So let's put down the last marker here. And the redstone torch. And that will form that ring. Come on, unnamed. So then we go back to the towards the base. As you can see, it's quite long. Let's get some, the R pickaxe again. The R pickaxe doesn't help you jump, but uh, it does make you go faster. But only when you're actually walking. If you got to, if I'm jumping, I go slow. So by doing this, I'm actually going a little faster. So with a bit of luck now, I'll remove this marker here and this, oops, I just moved and removed the wrong one. Let's put the other one back here like that. And now I should be able to right click this. I'm getting unnamed in the way, come out unnamed. Can I move him? I hope I haven't messed that up. Let's just put the torch down here. Because that's a bit strange. I think that'll work. Let's just put the torch down there and then right click it again. I hope I haven't messed it up by breaking it. Because I used the RR pickaxe and I hadn't realised the RR pickaxe would break all of those. Let's just put it down here. Oh, yes, that's fantastic. That's working good. So, all day now, so we'll put the, on top of that, we'll put the end of chest here, yeah, like this. get to it that's no yeah and then beside that we're going to put a cable I'll use one of these aluminium cables that's cheap as anything and we'll put on top of that the solar panel I'll probably keep the other solar panels so let's have a look is that working right, it's picked up the three markers that's great and it seems to be mining away so we should see the mine working so let's just Go along here again now and just collect up the torches because it doesn't pick up the torches. 
Got some mobs to the right there, but they won't be out in the day, will they? So we're going to get a lot of um, what we are at the moment, surface rock to start with, and then we should get some surface subsurface rock and cobblestone. As it happens for the price of a a cobblestone torch a redstone torch I probably could leave them couldn't I so I don't know where the it'll be over here let's go over here it's funny the quarry disappears after 64 blocks I've said that before haven't I How's our oxygen doing? Okay, we're all right for the time being. I think that's the line over there. So let's go and get the other torch. Yes, I can see it now. And look, it's already mined away that over there. We can see that. Caves around here. A stranger, I would have expected to see a village as well, but there are no signs of villages here at the moment. Right, that's that one. And I think let's. Oh no, I've got one more thing I want to do. What time of day is it? It's coming to evening. So it is a good time to go back home. If I can actually manage to do that, of course. So the quarry might not be working. Oh, I think it is working. I just saw it. <laughs> Look at that. Shoof. Speed of that. Wow. What's it picking up there? Is it picking up ice as well? Of course, I could enchant the, I could enchant the um, quarry as well with efficiency one, which will give us speed. But at the moment, what I can't do is process the inf process the resources fast enough. There we go. That's the last of those. Let's get back into the base and go home. Uh, and what I'm going to do first of all is to put down those last two things, like the aspirin and the Let's come in here and close this off. Piece of Mars. Subsurface it will do fine. So I should have some aspirin and some glycine. So let's just put those down here, for example. Now, by the door, it's not bad, huh? So then we just walk through those and get regened. Okay, so now, here we go, home again. Moon base. Now, if you look at this here, now it's going to tell me it's got 300 seconds where it cools down or something like that to, before we can use it again. What I would like to do, have is the re, is the reinitial. Um, is that right? Mars base. How do I get that to go on this one? Let's press escape. No. What's the send me to Mars base? But I really want this to. Ah, there we are. Activated waste zone. Now just right click it. I was trying to shift right click it. So now all of those point back here. That's great. So. I think it's time to do my oxygen, which means it's time to say goodbye, and I shall see you next time. Let's just do it like that and put this into there. And so look what we're getting into here. I should be getting, of course, it's night time at the moment, so it's not going to be generating too much 
resources but they should come in there so until next time i hope you've enjoyed this episode it's quite a challenge actually i haven't been to mars in this pack before so first time so any tips and tricks would be more than welcome so until next time bye for now <laughs>